And welcome back to The Showroom Presents. You know, it's summer and more homeowners than ever are utilizing their outdoor living space to entertain, play, and relax. Today, our guest is a designer on HGTV's Curb Appeal, and it's John Gidding. Welcome to The Showroom Presents, John. Thanks, Rick. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Doing very well, thanks. Awesome. So, tell us a little bit about the latest outdoor eco-friendly design trends for the summer. Sure. Uh, salvage arts have become hugely popular, mainly because mixing and matching is such a trend these days. People aren't worried about buying one big matching set, and so repurposing furniture has really come to its own. People know that now with a coat of paint, maybe a new surface, uh, old pieces of furniture that were built to last have many years of great life ahead of them. Boy, don't they ever. I like to tell this story. We had a chair in our basement that we used to like jump on and beat the snots out of. Yeah. And uh, we had it recovered, and the uh, upholsterer told us it was probably one of the most well-made chairs he'd reupholstered. So I know what you're saying is true, and, and you can find these these wonderful treasures everywhere. Yeah, and it keeps them out of landfills. It uh, adds a lot of character to anyone's outdoor yard, and it's also very amenable to mixing and matching with styles of architecture as well, so a lot of people are taking advantage of it. Sure, sure. So what are some of the, the, the biggest mistakes homeowners make when they design their backyard entertainment areas? Uh, I have to say that people are very uh, wanton with how they use water in their backyards, not realizing that it's the primary breeding ground for mosquitoes. Um, people Ooh. put kiddie pools and bird baths out there, and tiny amounts of standing water can breed enormous amounts of mosquitoes. I don't know if you know this, but this is a 10-inch pan, and one inch of water inside this pan over a week will hatch over 6,500 mosquito hatchlings. So um, imagine in, a, in any more water than this, how many more mosquitoes you're breeding in your backyard. So number one mistake is keeping any kind of standing water back there. Wow, you know, and that's funny too, because I, I, I wonder sometimes if, 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 if folks think about that when they're, when they're thinking about the, you know, the ponds and things like that, that, they, that they're you know, integrating into their designs. Yeah, and they really should, because mosquitoes, beyond being just pesky, are vectors of terrible diseases, um, sure. and uh, we just don't want to have anything to do with them. Uh, so getting rid of mosquitoes is also a primary concern for me and my clients. So how about, how about, how about some, some tips for folks that maybe already have you know, something set up but would like to change it up a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. If you want to change it up, try using uh, uh, crushed tires, rubber mulch, basically, as your mulch beds, because uh, it's very eco-friendly. It keeps tires out of landfills, and it keeps its color for a long time. It works great against weeds. Uh, so rubber mulch is something that I'm really recommending to people a lot. Now, is that something you can get, like, just about anywhere, or...? Yeah, that's the other beauty of it. It's widely, widely available. Many home improvement stores have them, big box stores. Uh, rubber mulch and chip tire mulch has become the new thing. Wow, that's, that's awesome. And, you know, I imagine it, since it has a little bit of weight, um, you know, it's sort of blowing away in, in windy areas and things like that probably aren't, aren't much of a concern. Yeah, especially when compared to, like, uh, pine straw or anything like that. It really, really stays put, and it gives a nice, crisp graphic edge to the edge of your planting beds. Now, um, kind, of, kind of backtracking a little bit here for, like, some of the outdoor furniture and, and, and things of that nature, um, where are some of the best places to get these things? Um, you know, uh, salvage yards are a great place, people's attics, old pieces of furniture you might have lying around the house, especially if they're timber and well-constructed, like we said earlier. Those are all great places to look. Um, and even though they've become widely popular lately, I have to say the prices are still low, so it doesn't break the bank to start repurposing furniture. Hmm. And, you know, sometimes I think you see, you see uh, pieces like that at uh, yard sales, garage sales, things of that nature, uh, out outdoor auctions as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great place for them, right? yard sales especially. And then, of course, you have to start enjoying it. Once you've created these beautiful outdoor spaces, um, you have to get rid of the one thing that's going to keep you from enjoying it, which, of course, you know, Rick, mosquitoes, right? Yes, yes. Um, it's not just, it's beyond, you know, the, the uh, getting rid of all the standing water. You also want to actively get rid of them, and that's why I'm here. I want to talk to you about Terminix's new product. It's the first thing of its kind. It's basically uh, sugar water that's wrapped around a little bit of garlic oil, which is entirely toxic to mosquitoes. Of course, completely non-toxic to us. It gets um, uh, applied to the bottom of non-flowering plants. It doesn't affect any other insect. And the amazing thing is within three weeks, the mosquito population is decimated. 90% of mosquitoes are gone, 
and they can't recover. So this is a once a month application only during the mosquito months uh, in whatever state you're in and thereby it completely gets rid of the mosquito population and we're looking at a mosquito free summer for the first time truly. Now where can the folks at home go to get this product because that sounds like something just about anybody anywhere can use at some point in time or another. That's what I'm saying, Rick. We all hate that mosquito. Basically, if you go to Terminix.com, you'll find out all about this service. It's a once a month thing. Uh, it'll tell you how it's priced. Uh, and also, if you want to win a $10,000 backyard makeover from me, go to their Facebook page, which is just facebook.com slash Terminix, and you get the mosquito service thrown in as well. Wow, terrific. Well, listen, uh, John, thanks so much for joining us here. Uh, the folks in Western New York here are going to have you to thank for keeping their backyards uh, mosquito-free. I know. It's going to be a whole new kind of summer. You bet it is. And I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, you too. John, you call that showing off? How about the dazzling diamond deals we're showing off at the showroom on Union? Diamond engagement rings. Diamond band. Diamond anniversary. Diamond Fashion. Diamonds, diamonds, and, and more, more diamonds. diamonds. All at a fraction of the pricey stores. And buy with confidence because all showroom diamonds will come with a Gem Lab certificate as requested, guaranteeing natural diamonds of value. Don't forget, we feature GIA certified diamonds. Showing off great diamonds and great deals every day. At Airport Plaza Jewelers, the showroom on Union.